Hello, hello, and hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Anna, and right now I am sharing with you my Hereford Whip and Ready Spicy Seasoned Beef Crumbles. This is a product of Brazil, fully cooked and ready to eat. This is six ounces, no refrigeration required. And a lot of you wondered how did it taste, how good is it, and we're going to review it today. So I'm going to open her up. I'm going to make it with some eggs for my kids. And I said, why not just turn on my uh, camera while I do this? Okay, so I got my pan going. Uh, it says it's ripping ready. I'm going to push the contents down a little bit. Yep, it actually does rip open. It smells good. It smells a little bit like, like chili. It smells like chili, exactly like chili. So it's highly seasoned, as you can tell. I hope you guys can see that. And we're going to try to get the contents out. Okay, so it looks just like chili. So this actually would be really good for chili. I think everything came out. Here, I think, did it all come out? Yeah, I think it all came out. Here are the contents of the information that you might be interested in. But we're going to go ahead and just cook this by itself. So you can see, and it's supposed to be like beef crumbles. Okay, as you tear it apart, yeah, it gets crumbly. It's highly seasoned. It's already highly seasoned. I can smell the seasoning coming off of it. I'm going to put a little bit, oops, sorry. I'll put a little bit more butter on my pan. Just because I'm going to have eggs on here. And I'm going to tell you what the seasoning is on it. Uh, cooked beef, salt, cumin, onion, chili peppers, paprika, garlic, uh, red pepper, and so forth and so on. But this is what it looks like. I can definitely smell the spices. I'm sorry if you hear my washing machine going. This is... <laughs> This is how we start our day. We had to do a whole bunch of stuff since we woke up. And I started my day. I know this was a requested video. Now, according to the packaging, I'm doing I'm doing this on a skillet. On a on a pan. But you can microwave this or you could you could actually do it on the stovetop. Um, if you put the baggie in water for three to five minutes, or you can microwave it for one to two minutes. So you have a couple of options or you could do it just like what I'm doing. I'm kinda, kinda trying to see if I have any more meat left in here. Let me see. Oh yeah, there was a little bit more. Because they're selling this right now at the Dollar Tree. You can find this product at Walmart and other stores. You can. So if you like your food highly seasoned, at least the way it smells, it smells highly seasoned. The way it looks, it looks highly seasoned. But um, it's already pre-cooked. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this a little taste and put this down on low because I want to make my eggs with it. So I'll get my spoon. Smells highly seasoned. Mm. Tastes like chili. Def oh my gosh, it definitely has a kick. It has a kick. Because it's kicking me right now. Okay. Definitely spicy. I'm going to make this for two of my boys. Spicy. And then i got to make some eggs that are not spicy. So. We're going to. Make some eggs on here. For the boys that like spice. Versus. Me and Noah that do not like spice. And we're gonna make 
make it nice and meaty for them. And they're going to enjoy this very much. One more egg. At this point, because of the um, spices already in there, I'm going to cook it without putting any additional spices and see what it tastes like. And then I can add some additional spices to it. I just turn the heat back up. And if you want to make tacos, fajitas, whatever you have, you can do that very easily with this. I can see that. It does have a small bite texture to it. It does have a small bite style texture to it. Um, so if you like spicy foods and say if you have dentures or something, this is not going to be a difficult thing to chew. It's friendly for that if, that, if that's a thing for you. And I could see it maybe being topped on some spaghetti or some baked potatoes and things like that. So I'm going to continue to cook this. And, okay, as you can tell, it's cooking up nicely. And you can see all the spices that are lining up on my pan here. Let that cook. Okay, so here's my end product. It's almost completely done cooking, as you can tell. It cooked up very nicely. And we're gonna actually add some cheese to this as well. So I'm gonna move it up a little bit more. But I wanna give it a go without the cheese. Let me turn this off and see what it tastes like without the cheese, but with the egg. Let's try this. I got some English muffins um, toasting up behind you. Mmm. Mmm. It's actually very good. Mmm. Huh. That's very good. Mmm. I like that. Now, with the eggs, it's not as spicy. Interesting. So if you definitely add it to something else, the spiciness of it is going to dwindle down and it's going to be a little bit more friendly for those who don't like spice. Oh, yeah. Okay. I definitely like these. I will be picking, picking up more of these for my family. Definitely like these. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. Again, it's for the Hereford. Rip and Ready Spices Season Crumbles, um, product of Brazil, fully cooked, ready to eat beef. And you can find it at Walmart, the grocery store. Um, they have them at Dollar Tree right now. They're in different name brand stores and big box stores, okay? So go check it out. It's got a plus for me. Bye.